In this video, I want to share my top 10 things to do when you are in Paris. So my first thing would be to go to Shakespeare and Company. And yes, this bookstore has a huge history. However, I spent an afternoon there when I was trying to get out of the rain. And there is a penis playing upstairs and I found myself a chair to sit in. And just actually spending time in the store and sitting and soaking in the environment and listening to the music, it was one of the highlights of my trip. So don't just go walk through quickly, take your photos and leave. Actually go and spend time in this bookstore and really appreciate everything it has to offer. My next thing would be to go to the Musée d'Orsay. Now I went to a few museums and of course they're all great, but the Musée, Musée d'Orsay was my favorite. I love the architecture because it was originally an old train station with the big clocks. And it also had some really great art, especially I really enjoyed seeing the Degas and Monet paintings. So I would uh, recommend that as one of the top museums to check out. Next would be to go wandering in the hills of Montmartre. There is some great food, there's beautiful views, lots of interesting shops. And don't just go up to Sacré-Cœur and be like, I've seen it and go to the Artist Square. Really take your time, walk through the streets. I took a street art tour as well as a food tour there. And I really got to appreciate the area and everything it has to offer. So really go and spend an afternoon wandering and exploring. My next thing would be to do chocolate shopping. France has so many amazing chocolatiers who all make their own chocolate. So this isn't your candy bar chocolate. This is nice, rich chocolate. They have milk chocolate, dark chocolates, which they call like black chocolate, and even some white chocolates. And it is an affordable luxury, as I like to call it. Sure, it's a little bit more expensive, but you can afford it. Um, some places, the chocolates just start at one euro and up. So you can really go. There's ganaches, pralines, rochers, so many good chocolates. And a lot of times, too, when I bought some chocolate, they even gave me one for free. So definitely go check out your chocolates all the chocolate shops. They're all over. The A lot of them have multiple locations. And talking about chocolate, I would go to Angelina's for their legendary hot chocolate. And of course, this is on everybody's list, but it really is an experience. Um, the cho hot chocolate is very rich. You could easily share it amongst two people, but it is quite the experience. And if you go down to the one on Rue Rivoli, just um, the whole environment is really nice and an experience you should have at least once in Paris. And on food, I would go for ice cream in Berthillen, Berthillen? Um, and actually sit in the cafe. Their ice cream is so creamy and rich, unlike anything, say, we get here in North America. It was so good. And it's just nice to actually sit and enjoy your ice cream, not have to continue to walk because you do so much walking in Paris. It's nice when you can actually sit down and enjoy what you're eating. And just a heads up, though, if you are traveling in the summer, the main um, cafe does close, I think, nearing the end of July and for all of August. However, the ice cream is available at multiple locations around France or around Paris. But if you could actually go to the cafe, um, it's really nice there. I would also recommend taking a food tour. I did a few tours and by taking a tour, it allows you to sample foods you might not be able to sample or you might not know about. Um, I went to some restaurants I would never have gone to by myself. I wouldn't have really known about them. And I got to try like meats and cheeses. And especially as a single traveler, I wouldn't have ordered that much. So by going with a food tour and being able to taste some things and have somebody direct you to like some of the best places to get croissants and chocolates and macarons and then um, beef bourguignon and all that. It's really fun and you get to talk with other people and ask your tour guide questions about food in general in France. I would also do a tour of Opera Garnier you have probably seen it in many TV shows and movies, but seeing it in person, it is just so spectacular. And 
you, it, a photo doesn't do it justice. This is the type of place that you really need to go in person and just see how spectacular the building is. My ninth item would be to wander the back streets. You have your main streets of Paris, of course, but on all the back streets, you will find more restaurants and more boutiques and more galleries and just interesting things along the way. There are so many back streets and they're all utilized so well. And so choose an area and just, I would just sort of keep walking down back streets and I would turn to another back street and I would just explore the city that way. Um, you'll get a completely different experience than staying on the main streets and seeing just say a bunch of chain stores that you can see in any city you visit. So check out all the back streets. And my final top item to do is spend some time in the gardens. There are gardens everywhere from like the Jardin des Plantes to Palais Royal to the Luxembourg to the Tuileries. Everywhere you go in turn, there will be a garden. And this is a great place. There's chairs and benches. You can sit and relax and just enjoy them. They are so beautiful. There's so many flowers. I went in September, so the flowers were still out. And they're very calming, lots of water fountains. And you can also uh, people watch, have some lunch there, have a treat, what have you. But just spend some time to stop because there's so much to do in Paris. It's nice that you can just stop and enjoy yourself and take in the gardens. So that is my top 10 recommendations of things to do in Paris, and I hope you enjoy your trip.